All right, you delightful human beings, and welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new here. I'm Christina, aka That Variety, and today we're finally back with Murder You 2K24. I haven't filmed this series in a good week, I think, something like that, uh, because my voice was kind of not there for a few days, uh, because we went to SmackDown on Friday. Either way around last episode, uh, we uh, went through more of the war games allies stories we just kind of barreled through those last two episodes and we came up with this delightful team that makes perfect sense on paper uh so we have randy orton you know we want him in war games because he's randy orton and then we've got our dude jason frost leading the team as the champion of smackdown we got finn balor uh because he's our bestie apparently I, that's what the miz said <laughs> i mean the Miz got Finn Balor to join us again, and we're, we're happy for that. Again, I want to, like, revisit at some point the Finn Balor-Christina Bennett stuff, because that was doing the whole, that was, like, the whole spooky, supernatural era mess, whatever that was. And then, of course, we got LA Knight. Yeah, because, well, yeah. <laughs> we needed, we needed somebody else that could hold down the fort in this match, and some more personality. So, there's that. Either way around, grab your snacks, grab your choice of beverage, get comfy and cozy, and let's go to war games. But first, before we go to war games, we gotta go to our good pal Troy over here, because what part of the men's my rise would it be if we didn't have to go and visit Troy? Let's keep things moving along. You here to spy on me, Troy? No. I'm here on behalf of Miz to make sure you're staying on task to recruit two teammates for SmackDown Survivor Series War Games team. So have you done that yet? Actually, yes, we I have. Know. Oh. <laughs> See, we're on the same page. <laughs> Excellent. Ready to lock them in? Once you make this decision, Miz will let corporate know it's official, so you can't change your mind. Besides, we really need to start promoting the participants, and Miz has big plans he wants to keep oh, off no. for the Oh, no. Don't Survivor say that, Series. Troy. <laughs> It's not gonna end well. Uh, yes, let's confirm our team. Or, well, rather, yeah, let's confirm our team. <laughs> All right. Are these the allies you want to team with for war games? Well, we only got to pick two out of them because Finn uh, was recruited by the Miz and Finn's our bestie. So there's that. Uh, are these the allies you want to team with for war games? Yes, Team SmackDown is ready. Well, I, we don't really have much more time to recruit, so I mean, there's that. So yeah, we're ready. I like the group I've assembled. I do too. Team SmackDown is ready for war games and whatever else Miz has planned. Oh God. Good. I'll let the boss know. Well, that sounded promising. I don't trust where any of this is going, people. I don't. I really don't. Where's Roman at? Where's the bloodline? We haven't seen him this entire time. Oh, there we go. We're cutting away from Cody Rhodes' title defense because SmackDown superstars have invaded backstage. Is this part of their war games team? Luckily, Luke Gallows is here to back up his partner. Let's get back to ringside as we monitor this developing situation. Cody Rhodes has successfully defended his World Heavyweight Championship and has no idea what's transpired backstage during this match. Well, he's about to find out now. I think this is the debut of SmackDown's War Game team. War Games team. And what a lineup they have assembled. This doesn't look good for the American Nightmare. He's in trouble. He might not even make it to war games. Wait, are we supposed to be the bad guys or the good guys? And here's their team captain, the Universal Champion. Like, who are we supposed to cheer for if we're invading? <laughs> Hold on, Cody is back up. It's his Survivor Series teammates. Well, at least some of them after Carl Anderson. Okay, this is about to explode. Here we go. Oh, boy. Not on my bloody show, gentlemen. Regal. For war games. Boo! <laughs> Come on, Regal. I, I did too. I wanted to see them fight. Team Raw's side is at a disadvantage. Smart move if you ask me. Oh, Cody punched us. Oh! Oh, we just punched Regal. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. I, I'm guessing we're... Uh, is this our heel turn or accidental heel turn? We're still trying... <laughs> we're still trying to go after them! <laughs> and now we know it's going to be an epic battle inside that double-sided cage. 
Oh, this is going to be great. I mean, we're all kind of matching already. Look at that. <laughs> Priorities. Team Raw doesn't invade and sneak attack like cowards, so I'm sending AJ Styles to SmackDown for a War Games preview match. Who will step up and face him? So you got my little message. We'll get back to you on that challenge. So I'm guessing we're the bad guys because we're the Miz's team. <sighs> well, I mean, at least we're continuing this thread with Regal and, and Cody, right? Because that's, that's who it all started out with, and the freaking Miz, too, of course. At least this is all going back to full circle. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm so sick of you, Troy. <laughs> Get out of here, Troy. Maybe you, you should join more asked, games. And honestly, it didn't turn out that great. Right. I never wanted to assault William Regal. Me neither, Jason. Me neither. What do you mean? It was must-see TV. Especially the part when you nailed Regal. Good stuff, pal. Whatever. So what does our genius GM have planned next? And where is he even? I haven't seen him anywhere since I got to the building. Well, with, um, tensions escalating and who knows how Rob would retaliate, Miz thought it was better if he stayed home this week. Of course he did. So, he ran away again. Got it. Look, what's more important is Regal is sending AJ Styles here for a War Games preview match. And Miz has so much confidence in his team captain that he wants you to decide who should fight Styles. Oh, yay. Go team. Okay. And you want my decision now? Yes, because he's Troy, and he's already nodding his head. Look at that. Yes. Yep. And Miz also said if you make the wrong call and we lose, then it's completely on Is this you. War Games advantage? Choose wisely. Yay, go team. <laughs> okay, so I'll face AJ myself. Nope. We gotta rest and recoup. We gotta re we gotta refresh, rejuvenate. We gotta make sure that we're fresh and ready to go because I again we haven't seen the bloodline this entire story really, except for when Roman was in Hollywood with the landlord stuff. <laughs> We haven't seen them in some time, okay? Uh, Finn would make logical sense because past history. Uh, and then the other two, they've probably got past history with AJ. I mean, I know IRL, obviously, but you, you get the idea. Um, okay. Alright, it looks like we've got Finn Balor up on the docket to uh, defend Team SmackDown against Team Raw here. Good. I'll let the boss know. God, I hate Troy. Come home, Troy. Alrighty, our bestie Finn is taking on AJ, and I don't trust where any of this is going. Attempt to defeat AJ Styles, um, pretty much. God, there's even more layers to this than there was for the one that we had with the women's My Rise. Because <laughs> we essentially quote-unquote stole Shotzi's idea, even though it's called Survivor Series War Games. Like, yeah, it would be kind of misleading uh, in general to have Survivor Series War Games so that a Survivor Series match. That whole storyline was just a convoluted mess. At least there's an ongoing thread here with, like, our dude and Cody, The Miz, Regal, like, all that stuff, right? Right. And we got our bestie Finn over here going up against AJ Styles. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of what he is! <laughs> I mean, the Miz pretty much said it. Finn is our bestie. Oh, truly one of the MVPs of, of my rise. Not the Miz. Certainly not Troy. I, I think in the women's one, it might have been Justine Janine. <laughs> she was making all the sense in the world. Uh, definitely a bit of a uh, most improved person, for sure, in this series. Uh, and then Finn's probably the... Uh, best supporting character so far, I feel like. Because he's been there for us. He's really been there for us, which means he's going to turn on us at some point, right? <laughs> I don't trust anything in this series. I really don't. I mean, not after how the last one went. <laughs> like, we couldn't trust anybody. I mean, we almost ended up with that stupid love triangle with Dominic and Rhea for whatever reason, even though we had no intentions of doing that. That would be a funny arc to revisit, too. See, I'm already getting ideas here. And the fun thing is that if I decide to do an original series again, we have way more time to just have it just be a little weekly thing where we can actually write and produce it properly and stuff. 
and make adjustments along the way as we see fit. All right, Finn, you got this. Put away AJ. Wait, who who's the champion over here? Okay, so AJ's the United States champion or something like that. Yeah, I think he's the US champ over on Raw. Well, then who's the secondary title person over here? I think that was Gunter, right? <laughs> I'm like, it's like, Christina, you just played a match against him like a couple of episodes ago. And it's like, I feel like we've been in like War Games limbo for a little bit. Oh boy. I almost forgot who we just fought off against. What a mess. Oh, that's alright. We're making it work. He's got that resiliency, so we gotta brace ourselves for that. Okay, yep, there he goes. He just used it. Alright, Finn diving off the top rope right there. You'll love to see it. Come on, Finn. Do it for your bestie. <laughs> oh, God. I, 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 can, I can sense some overlapping characters along the way, because didn't we get on Randy Orton's good side, too, in the Women's War Games one? See, all the people on this War Games team, like, have some kind of overlap, even in, like, very small ways, like, with the Women's War Games or the women's storyline, and I find it funny. <laughs> Close enough. Go for the pinfall. Oh, wow, that took a minute there. Well, not a minute, but you get the idea. But Finn did it, people! We did it! Does that mean we get the War Games advantage? Is this how it works? Hopefully. I, I want to see the shenanigans. Come on. <laughs> Come on, shenanigans! <laughs> I'm just trying to finish out this series, hopefully, this week. And I say hopefully because, like, well... I don't know how many... I feel like we've probably got, like, maybe including this one, like, three or four episodes left. I poked ahead to see, like, where the timeline was and everything. And I guess, like, there's two more arcs, like ahead of us after this arc, and that's a Cody arc and then a Roman arc, so we're gonna have to see what unfolds, but uh, congratulations are in order to our bestie Finn Balor over here, who defeated AJ Styles. So, uh, yay Finn! Oh, there's Finn again! Hey, Finn. We got the win against AJ, but War Games is gonna be a whole lot tougher. No kidding. With you and the rest of the crew we have, I like our chances. I do too. Same. Although I do wish we weren't fighting on Miz's behalf. Again, thank you, Finn. Thank you, bestie. <laughs> I hear you, but it's bigger than that. So how about we win the match, then we'll work on getting our house in order. Oh boy. Deal. So wait, are we going to be teaming up with Finn the rest of the story, or is he going to turn on us at some point? I don't trust anything, okay? No shame. Okay, so before we go to match, which I don't know what match we need to go to, uh, but Team SmackDown struck first in the War Games preview match, but who will get the real victory at Survivor Series? It's going to be more of the same. Team SmackDown is going to dominate Regal's group of paper champions. We'll see about that, Miz. We got this, Regal. Well, then who are the tag champs over on... Okay, wait, no, they're... Wait, hang on a second here. Are the tag teams together in in the universe mode? Or in the My Rise mode? <laughs> We're getting all the modes mixed up. <laughs> God. Alrighty. Well, we're still in the story. So, uh... It's uh, time for war games! That was terrible. At least I tried. Oh boy. Hype for Survivor Series. Y'all ready? Ready for war? We're gonna burn Raw's house down. Nothing left but ashes. Love the passion, but remember, this is just business. I'm sure it is, based on how you and Finn were just talking about. And we've got the bloodline roaming around somewhere. I can't trust anybody. Even in, I, I can't trust anybody on this on this mode. Here we go! The contest is the men's War Games match! The rules of the 
match are as follows. Two teams will be contained in separate cages, with one member of each team starting the match. At regular intervals, alternating members from each team will be released to enter the match. The first member to enter will come from the advantage team. Once all competitors have entered, War Games officially begins! The match can be won by pinfall or submission. Exiting the cage will result in a forfeit. Now, let the War Games begin! Oh boy. Oh god. Alright, well AJ's coming out, and... Oh, I miss this music. <laughs> I still don't know if I like his new music or not. It's been like, what, like since Wrestlemania? Oh dear god. Look at all the- look at all the pyro! Look at all that pyro! Wow. Introducing first, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, the phenomenal AJ Styles! You know what would be phenomenal if they brought the song back? It's literally like a copy and paste template, it seems like, with some of these new entrance themes. And I know we've been chit-chatting it all over Twitter slash X since WrestleMania, or at least a little bit before that. But it's like, you hear the person, like, say what their name is, and then they get, like, a generic sort of, like, drum beat and, like, whatever, right? Some of the entrance themes aren't that bad, right? But, like, some of them, I'm like, what is this? Like, you're making it harder for us to, like, create our entrances in the WWE games. Like, I don't want somebody's name shouting all over my music. Oh, look at our dude, the workhorse. <laughs> the dark horse turned workhorse. How many days are we at in the, uh, how many days are we at in this title reign? Oh, I don't trust where anything is going. Do we have the advantage or do they have the advantage? so happy to go into war games. <laughs> Look at our dude! Look at this dude! Oh, seriously, I wanted to see him go in there with the title. That would've been cool. Boo! Look at that. A man of the people. Getting the crowd all hyped up and stuff. You love to see it. Also, why do we always have to start the War Games matches? Like, I want to just be chilling out in the cage for a little bit. <laughs> and, and that would make things a little bit more interesting too, right? Like, who's going to be the first one for each team? Oh god, okay, as the Dark Horse, strike Cody Rhodes in the center of the ring. Okay, so we got to hang in there until Cody comes out. Which might be towards the end? Well, who's going to- okay, I'm guessing uh, we'll be coming out first. Possibly? Oh, Jesus. Okay, so we gotta wait until Cody's in here, then uh, some, uh, some shenanigans are gonna go down, right? You know they are. You just, you know they are. I mean, in the last My Rise, <laughs> the shenanigans happened after the match, so, I mean, I'm expecting something to happen in the match as a result, and or after the match. Like, what if the Miz and Regal just mix it up in there with us? That would be funny. I mean, they're both playable characters, so... Anything can happen, but... Yeah, I, I have a little goal for May for myself, and that's to write, like, 30 pages on Microsoft Word. And so that's giving me a little extra motivation to get my butt going. And that's, like, notes, planning, writing, whatever. Oh, Finn's up next! Hey, bestie! <laughs> This video is just gonna be going to war games with my bestie. <laughs> so that was for the war games advantage. Okay, look at us. Look at us. Look at us.
Finn, bring the weapons, please. Wait, oh, I was like, where did Finn go? And, well, there he is. There we go. Go get the weapons, Finn. You got this. Even if it's just the one thing, at least he's got the right idea. Wait, I can take over and play as Finn? Or just get the weapons in there? I'm guessing it's the other thing, right? Right. I don't know. Look at Finn! Look at Finn. He's got the right idea. Bringing in all the weapons right away. Nice try, AJ. So much history. Well, that's okay. Go get him, bestie. <laughs> God. What a mess. Well, that's okay. We can chill, hang out, let Finn do a lot of the work right now. Gotta get our energy going. Uh, so, uh, I'm guessing Luke Gallows might be next? Well, I mean, the objective is to strike Cody once he's in the ring with us, so I'm sensing something's gonna go down, right? I'm so suspicious, because I know one of the achievements is to beat Cody. And that's probably the next one up, because, well, Roman hasn't shown up, like, this entire time ever since the Landlord thing. I'm not gonna let that down. But yeah, like, this entrance theme for the OC, like, it sounds really good, but then you get to stuff like, whatever AJ's new music is, and it's like, what is this? This can't be the same, this can't be the same people. Or like, you know, the same people, it was like EO's music, right? Like that one's like, oh, this sounds really good. And like Bailey's old music. Like, ugh. I'm just mad. All right, we gotta focus people. Oh, AJ's busted open, I think. Our dude's got this, bam! But it's like, uh, what is happening with the entrance themes nowadays? Like, we've had some gems over the last couple of years or so, I think. But, like, the most recent ones that we're getting, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> it's like, you do realize that these are going to be in the video games for us to use for our creative wrestlers, right? Right. Alright, I think Finn's going to be okay over there. It's like, uh, AJ, you might want to be more concerned with the fact that we're doing pretty good over here. Alright, Randy's coming out next. Oh! Right on the trash can! Randy! God, they're gonna make us wait all the way until the end for Cody, right? What if, like, this is Cody's heel turn? Like, what if he's secretly working with Roman? That would be funny. Sorry, Randy, I had to, I had to help you out there for a minute. Uh, I'm gonna go help out uh, my bestie over here. <laughs> I think that's kind of what it is. Randy, you've got this. Uh, we, we clearly need to help Finn out a little bit. Oh. Well, we just got caught right in the middle there. Oh. Well, we got out of that. Alrighty. Sorry about the potential jump cut right there. We had to start a new recording. Randy, what are we doing? Oh. Right on the gallows. Nope, you leave Finn alone, AJ. You leave our dude alone. Alrighty, Carl Anderson is up next, which means he'll probably be- Oh! I didn't know I could do that! Look at that, look at that! I didn't know I could do that! Beautiful. Alright, well, when Carl Anderson gets in here, then I think we'll be uh, right after him. Okay, he's going to get weapons. That's that's fair. That's fine. Alrighty, here we go. We got Jason going after Carl Anderson. We got Gallows and Anderson over on this side, although Luke Gallows is going to 
Try to help out AJ over there. Coming up next on the docket for our team is uh, none other than L.A. Knight. Yeah. And then Cody's got to come in here. And then we got to get the uh, strike thing. Because we have to strike Cody. That that was literally... that. That's how we furthered the plot. Carl! Seriously? What are we doing? Oh god, AJ's in here now. Okay, Randy's doing alright. Uh, Finn, well, I, I, he's not okay for now. Okay, that's fine. Oh, hang on here. Oh, poop. Oh, no, Styles Clash, Styles Clash! Oh, no. Thanks, Finn, we appreciate you. Got LA Knight making his way down here now. Coming in last for the team. He's, he's getting right to business. Just getting right in the middle of the ring. He's going right for AJ. Randy, what are we doing, Randy? Randy, Jesus, Randy. Okay. I, I think it's safe to say that we are kind of just destroying their team at this point. All right, Cody. Get your butt down here. Sincerely me. But I mean, look at our team, we're all like green, you know, we got a little bit of limb damage, but not too bad. I mean, we got three finishers, we got a signature, so I mean, we're doing pretty decent. Oh god, right on the chair? Oh, close enough. Well, LA Knight just dropped the trash can. Uh, we got Randy and Finn taking care of business over there. So I mean, we're doing just fine. We are doing just fine, people. Come on down, Cody. Again, I feel like Cody, I, I feel like our dude and Cody should have been the ones to, like, start this thing when you really think about it. Come on, Cody, get down here. Beautiful elbow drop right there from LA Knight. Uh, Randy's still going ham with the sledgehammer. Come on, Cody. Come on, Cody. BFT to AJ! Oh god. Thank you, LA Knight. Oh, Cody's bringing the tables for the people. Well, a table, I think. Oh, my game just took a freeze right there. Y'all just see that? Wow. Alright, LA Knight, you can hold down the fort. I think that was an RKO, right? <laughs> it's like you should recognize. Jesus, did you see how much that table just went flying? Oh, come on, AJ, you party pooper. Alright, Cody. Get your butt over here. We gotta do a strike. I think we gotta get a strike in. Cody, are we going after Cody or not? We are. Oh, seriously? I have to have him in the center of the ring. The center of the left ring. I, I think we're in there? The center of the left ring. Okay, there we go. Everyone's in, and now champion versus champion. Oh, no. Cody holds on. Is this it? And he nails the crossroads. Could that do it? Wow! See, I knew it. I knew some shenanigans were going to go down. It's been several years since the legend of the Dark Horse was born, built on a victory over Cody Rhodes that many said was a fluke due to the interference of Roman Reigns. Did the World Heavyweight Champion just prove everyone right? This, this in and of itself was a fluke. <laughs> I mean, we're doing all the heavy lifting in here. This is Team Raw and the American Nightmares Night to stand over WWE. Wow. 
And, and why are we supposed to cheer for Cody in this, by the way? Is Cody supposed to be the heel in this whole story? Because that's what I'm getting out of this. Wow! I mean, I get that that's kind of how war games might work, but it's like, I feel like that could have went on a little longer. At least we got the destructive tank mess at the end of the, remember, the women's war games one. That was an ending. <laughs> For everything we went through. Oh, Survivor Series. Oh god, we're at the gym. Oh, please tell me that's not The Miz. Oh, that's Cody. Okay. Good old Geneva Rose is back. We got Cody in the center. We got Fanny over here. So I'm guessing we have a whole new slew of stories. The WWE Universe is shocked after the dominant victory by Cody Rhodes over Jason Frost at Survivor Series. Shocked? I'm not. Same old rats fighting each other for scraps at my table. Someday soon I might have to come back and take my seat back. Oh no. Well, it's only been like over two years, so there's that. Tough one out there, champ, but don't let it get you down. You've still got the gold after all. This is true. Now they're going to come after him. And they're going to go They're going to go after the dude, right? Taking title matches anytime soon? Just wondering. Unrelated to the outcome of war games. Talk about kicking a man race down. No, you're right. We all win or lose together. Team effort. But let us know about the title match question. Alrighty, so we got the attribute points over here. Okay, we'll max out the aerial and running. We still got all the submission left to go, and that's okay. We're at 96 overall. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at the stories. I forgot to click over there. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so concealing the spotlight, smiles and suplexes, and for the record. So I'm guessing kind of based on that, we gotta, like, win one of these before we go anywhere else. So that's fine. Dark Horse versus Destiny. So we had all the Cody clothes coming up and 30 points. The Roads to WrestleMania. See, I like how we're getting these, like, smaller bite-sized arcs in this one. I, I appreciate that. Uh, so let's go ahead and do one of these little side missions, or maybe even both the side missions. It's going to be a jam-packed episode, y'all. So uh, let's start with Fanny and then go over to Geneva. And I need more backstory about our dude in Geneva and Christina Bennett at this point. It's like, do I got to write it myself? I might have to. But here we go. This championship run is epic! You must be so stressed. I'm stressed vicariously through you. I am you too, Fanny. <laughs> I like to go on vacation. In my mind. Oh Here's my god. Close no. Your eyes, take yourself somewhere exotic, and imagine yourself doing the most exciting thing you can think of. Which, for me, is wrestling. But against someone fun, like, what about Doink the Clown? Want to see where your mind can take you? My mind took me to a beach, and I was reading a book. <laughs> Let's go. Did any of us have our dude versus Doink the Clown in Mexico on the bingo board? I don't think any of us did. What a weird match. Again, this is just a weird story mode in, like, the best way possible. It's just so random at times, and I'm perfectly fine with it again. When we see the little, like, orange circle fist ones, uh, that's basically, like the one-and-done matches, so I'm perfectly fine with us doing one match over here, and then maybe doing the Geneva match, and then that way we can kind of just run right into the Cody stuff next episode. I, I feel like in that little group chat, I feel like it should have been like Orton and LA Knight kind of swapping the, you know, the text there. Like, it should have been kind of flip-flopped right with their roles, but here we are. Uh, we're here in Mexico against Doink the Clown for whatever reason, because Fanny. <laughs> Good old Fanny. Oh! Nice counter. It would be pretty cool if we could max out our attributes. I don't think we've had that happen yet, like, all together. We only have, like, four more things like left to go on our... Uh, attribute point thing. I don't know if it'll happen, but, you know, still worth trying. That's right, we're trying our best over here against Doink the Clown. We, we just have to imagine it's the Miz. <laughs> or Troy! No, the Miz is fine for now. Uh, Troy, on the other hand, th this is this is just us just thinking about beating up Troy, right? 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 God, what a weird, what a weird universe. 
But I just love that finisher so much. I just do. We did it, people. Go team. Woohoo! We did it, people. We have done all the things. Alright. Let's keep things moving along. Alright, our dude won in Mexico. You'll love to see it. I I'm betting we're going to have a match at a TBD with our pal Geneva soon. But we'll have to see what the other story has uh, coming up for us as well. And I'm not mad if this is a little longer if that means that we get these little side missions taken care of, right? Right. Perfect. Smiles and suplexes. Ten upgrade points. Okay. So we got Geneva up next. What is this other story? Do we have to go through Cody first and then go for here? Oh yeah, because for the record, because that would make sense, because like we're going for the record of, um, we're going after uh, Roman's record probably, right? Looks like you're the only one laughing after that one. I assume so. Anyway, it'd be weird if you lost a match in your own mind. Maybe I'm just in your head. How fun. Oh, that's weird. That's weird. Well, either way around, we've got Geneva up next, so let's go chit-chat with her again. I need more backstory. Listen, I know you're dealing with a lot of pressure right now after war games. It's overwhelming. And it can make you forget why you stepped into this business with a heart full of passion. Trust me, I get it. But you do this. Oh, you a do. Match after hours at TBD when the arena is deserted and all eyes are off. Wonder you. where you came with that no idea. No obligations <laughs> to live up to anyone's expectations. No titles to defend. Just you and a ring. Pins only. Back to the core of wrestling. Well, who are we facing? Cole Quinn, right? Probably. I don't know. But let's go to TBD after hours. El Ordinario. I mean, close enough, right? Right. Try to pin El Ordinario. Love that. Yeah, I'm hoping to finish the My Rise either today or tomorrow in terms of filming. By today and or tomorrow, I mean like by the end of April and it's like April 29th. Uh, but I'm hoping to get another My Faction video filmed as well. Uh, after the SmackDown vlog, I have the itch to do some vlogging over the warmer months when it's not a thousand degrees outside, and it's actually been much more seasonable this year so far. Last year at this time, we were close, or actually we were into the 90s at this point, and I think we only had one or two days where we got close to that, so I'm very happy about that. So, I mean, hey, if there's a vlog every once in a while, then, you know, we're back into vlogging. I think I actually, like, you know, there's just a lot of fun events coming up just throughout the summer and just the rest of the year, and I think it'd just be fun to kind of share those experiences with the all-wrestling, non-wrestling related stuff. All that good stuff. I think I have some portrait, like, up and down videos of, uh, from SmackDown still that I haven't went through yet that I probably should go through at some point for shorts content so yeah there's that because i heard that shorts like you've only got a handful of shorts but i heard that the shorts are like a good way to kind of expand your audience a little bit and i can kind of see it because i'm one of those people that will just scroll through mindlessly for like 15 20 minutes and just watch all the youtube shorts let me know in the comments down below do you like shorts youtube shorts uh, or do you prefer another platform? I know some people are very much like, you know, really into TikTok. They're very much into Instagram. Some people watch YouTube shorts. Let me know which which is your platform of choice. Either way, we did it. Look, look at how excited he is to be at TBD. I need more backstory about, about our dude at TBD. I, I really do. All right, story completed. Concealing the spotlight. So I think that's it, possibly? Because, like, this one's locked, so, yeah, next episode will be going right after Cody, you know, right out of the gate. I have to admit, I'm a little sorry nobody was watching. Hopefully that helped clear your head and reignited something, if you needed it. I'm pulling for you, Dark Horse. Yeah, he is, she is... Yeah, Geneva has more faith in the Dark Horse than she did Christina Bennett. Slash the captain. Okay, oh, we got 22 points. Beautiful, beautiful. We got... Three more spots left to go on the submission upgrade, which is great. And uh, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this up here. So next episode, we're going after you, Cody. We're going after you. We're going after that title, probably. Uh, and then there's another story that says for the record after that. So I'm guessing that's when Roman comes back. I don't know for sure. But what I do know is this. 
Uh, it is episode 13. We're approaching the end of this thing, and we still have not... We have very little bloodline shenanigans, so this is very uncharacteristic. It's not rooted in realism, right? <laughs> Either way around. Thank you all so much for watching or watching. Leave a like, leave a comment. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button so your notifications are on here and that sort of thing. Make sure to check out all the links down in the description box down below, including links to my social media, buy me a coffee, and all that good stuff. And again, I want to thank everybody for all the love and support thus far. It's really meant the world to me. And uh, we'll just see what happens moving forward with the series and with WWE2K24 content. Again, any and all feedback, suggestions, etc. is always much appreciated. Uh, but yeah, again, thank you all super much for watching. We're going after Cody next episode. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.